All right. After a primary season that only included two wins, Vermont and D.C., former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is now out of the presidential race. Haley announcing her decision this morning, which did not include an endorsement of her competitor, former President Donald Trump. So we can move forward now with the idea that Trump is the unofficial Republican nominee based on all the voting that has happened this time for a third straight time. Rejoining us to discuss commentary editor for The Washington Times, Kelly Sadler. And we also have our illustrious Dick Morris here joining us as well. We appreciate you both coming on. Kelly, we're going to start with you. Nikki's out. She doesn't endorse the former president, something we've talked about. She did hope, though, he's able to grab some of the people that voted for her. Wouldn't an endorsement aid in doing that? Uh -huh. The sooner the better, Kelly. Well, you know what? I think she's using this as leverage um, over Donald Trump to negotiate a position within his administration, right? It's a it's a card that she has. It's pretty much the only card that she has, but she should go down to Mar-a-Lago, hash things out with the former president. President Trump loves endorsements, and he'll take it uh, graciously from Nikki Haley. Um, it's all about kind of what she views in her political future. Now, she also might not endorse him at all if she wants to sit on the board at Raytheon or have a more of a private sector life. Uh, but if she doesn't endorse within the next few days or within the next week, I, I just think that GOP voters are going to find her attitude like sour grapes, and it might ruin her future prospects within the Republican Party. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Dick, it's looking like Biden v. Trump part two here. Your initial thoughts on Nikki dropping out this morning? Well, dropping out, yeah, uh, and, and not very graciously. And if she thinks she's going to get a job in this administration, she's got another thing coming. But um, I believe it may be Biden against uh, against um, Michelle Obama. I think that the Democrats simply cannot handle the ratings that Biden is receiving now. They know that it's 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 a kamikaze mission. It's suicide. And uh, the speech tonight, tomorrow night, the State of the Union. It's almost an audition uh, to see if he can stay as the candidate. But I think Michelle Obama is waiting in the wings. Now, I know that yesterday she said she to a spokesman that she's not running. She didn't even say that. She said, I'm supporting Biden and Harris. And um, endorsements like that come and go. But uh, I believe that the underlying statistical fact is that uh, Biden is way behind Trump. Uh, almost half of the Democratic voters more than half of the Democratic voters say they'd rather have someone else as a candidate. And when you ask them who, uh, of those who say they want someone else, it's 20 percent. Michelle, 15 percent. Um, um, 15 percent uh, Hillary mm -hmm. and, and 15 percent Kamala and 12 percent Hillary. And uh, I think faced with that situation, uh, Biden has got to pull out. Uh, he's got to step aside. And I think that uh, Michelle Obama is the obvious choice. Kelly, that's a very interesting point Dick is bringing up. And I know Michelle Obama has already come out and said, no way. But I don't know if you can trust that in today's day and age with politics here. Do you think she's still in the running? What do you think? Well, I think it's a long shot. Um, I do agree with Dick that the majority of Democrats, the just the, the rank and file Democrats, don't want Joe Biden as their nominee. And every week that goes by, he looks weaker and weaker and more feeble and fragile. Uh, Democrats make their own rules, right? So they say they love democracy and are champions for democracy, but they can do anything that they want to do at their convention. And if Joe Biden does not give a strong State of the Union address tomorrow evening, and if his campaign looks like it's faltering, you better believe that there might be a surprise this summer at the Democratic Convention. It certainly could be. I think tomorrow has a lot of ramifications, Dick. I think you would agree with that here. But for all sakes and purposes, right now, it is Trump versus Biden. So we'll just go with that narrative at the very at the moment here. Mitch McConnell, Dick, comes out and endorses the former president today. 